Okay, right now we will start to do some uh, solid modeling. I will just uh, show you some basic uh, tools to do the volume objects in AutoCAD. Uh, we will start from the um, from the simple box. If we go to the home and uh, box uh, tool, we can mark. Uh, corners and we see we create the box uh, I'll just move uh, a little bit from this uh, yeah and uh, this box uh, as we marked it has got the arrows which uh, are really nice tools to control the sizes of it but they are not very precise so in most cases we will be using um, a little bit different approach we will be using uh, extruding. If we go here and um, check what are the possibilities, we have extrude, loft, uh, revolve, and sweep. Uh, let's try uh, to use all of them. Um, let's do this first of all. Uh, let's uh, try, uh, try to uh, extrude this single line. If we go up, we see that uh, the uh, plane surface has been created. Uh, so uh, it's uh, not the best uh, option for us. If we draw um, our um, box uh, in uh, rectangular by lines, we click on extrude. Then we see that uh, also it didn't create the um, the volume object. It creates uh, four surfaces. To check it, maybe to, to see it more um, visible, we go to the conceptual uh, visual style, and we see this, that uh, this box it's uh, volume object, but this one it's empty inside. It's just uh, four surfaces. So what can we do? Either we can do something like uh, that, that we do extruding uh, in, uh, up uh, of the surface, and then we are extruding one more time uh, the surface, and thanks to that we have a uh, volume object. Uh, either we can use, uh, for example, rectangular or polyline, which will be exact exactly the same uh, which will give the same uh, result uh, if we close the polyline like uh, I taught you before and then we use the region to to fool the polyline uh, by by surface and then we can extrude the surface up uh, okay but uh, let's do it one and uh, this time with a rectangular option it's just a po closed polyline, this uh, rectangular. So if we click uh, region, it will create. And then uh, what is loft? Loft, uh, it's uh, the type of the um, creation of the volume object, which needs two, uh, for, uh, two objects, uh, the target and the source. And it's creating the uh, the volume between these two um, shapes. So, for example, if we mark the region which we made a second ago and uh, copy it um, uh, in place, uh, like that, to have uh, yeah, two pieces of the uh, paper and uh, nothing between and then we go to the loft uh, we will mark uh, one uh, 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 and the other um, uh, uh, regions and then we click enter we see that it creates uh, between those two uh, the volume uh, not the volume yeah just uh, the, the solid. But uh, what is important here that, uh, for example, if we go to the rectangular and let's make two different rectangulars, like one is smaller than the other. 
and then up uh, with this buff and let's uh, draw the regions one more time on the upper and lower effect um, and then let's click plot then we see that it uh, create this uh, object uh, he used the shortest way to connect the uh, edges of these two two things so this is lofting uh, let's do the uh, one let's uh, one more time create a uh, region then let's uh, use uh, revolve revolve uh, so, mark object uh, to revolve then I am I'm marking the uh, um, the axis of rotation and we see that uh, he is doing uh, just uh, by rotation by the uh, over this uh, axis he is creating a volume object okay and the last one is a sweep uh, which I want to show you uh, one more time we will create a rectangle or a thing. then we will uh, create a region and let's create a line let's make it a little bit more fancy like that and uh, let's go for the 3d polyline line and uh, go through all of uh, the uh, uh, edge points of the lines which I created. Right now we have something like that, a 3D polyline and uh, this uh, object, this uh, um, region and then use sweep option, click on the region, then click on the 3D polyline. It's just um, adjust this uh, region to the 3D polyline, okay?